Project Cyberson was a Chilean project from 1971 to 1973 during the presidency of Salvador Allende aimed at constructing a distributed decision support system to aid in the management of the national economy. The project consisted of four modules, an economic simulator, custom software to check factory performance, an operations room, and a national network of telex machines that were linked to one mainframe computer. Project Cyberson was based on viable system model theory and a neural network approach to organizational design, and featured innovative technology for its time. It included a network of telex machines cybernet in state-run enterprises that would transmit and receive information with the government in Santiago. Information from the field would be fed into statistical modeling software Cyberstride that would monitor production indicators such as raw material supplies or high rates of worker absenteeism in real time, and alert the workers in the first case, and in abnormal situations also the central government, if those parameters fell outside acceptable ranges. The information would also be input into economic simulation software Checo, for Chilean economic simulator that the government could use to forecast the possible outcome of economic decisions. Finally, a sophisticated operations room, ops room would provide a space where managers could see relevant economic data, formulate responses to emergencies, and transmit advice and directives to enterprises and factories in alarm situations by using the telex network. The principal architect of the system was British operations research scientist Stafford Beer, and the system embodied his notions of organizational cybernetics and industrial management. One of its main objectives was to devolve decision-making power within industrial enterprises to their workforce in order to develop self-regulation of factories. Name The project's name in English Cybersyn is a portmanteau of the words cybernetics and synergy. Since the name is not euphonic in Spanish, in that language the project was called Cinco, both an initialism for the Spanish Sistema de Información y Control, System of Information and Control, and a pun on the Spanish Cinco, the number five, alluding to the five levels of Beer's viable system model. History Stafford Beer was a British consultant in management cybernetics. He also sympathized with the stated ideals of Chilean socialism of maintaining Chile's democratic system and the autonomy of workers instead of imposing a Soviet-style system of top-down command and control. In July 1971, Fernando Flores, a high-level employee of the Chilean Production Development Corporation contacted Beer for advice on incorporating Beer's theories into the management of the newly nationalized sector of Chile's economy. Beer saw this as a unique opportunity to implement his ideas on a national scale. More than offering advice, he left most of his other consulting business and devoted much time to what became Project Cybersyn. He traveled to Chile often to collaborate with local implementers and used his personal contacts to secure help from British technical experts. The implementation schedule was very aggressive, and the system had reached an advanced prototype stage at the start of 1973. The system was most useful in October 1972, when about 40,000 striking truck drivers blocked the access streets that converged towards Santiago. According to Gustavo Silva, Executive Secretary of Energy in CORFO, the system's telex machines helped organize the transport of resources into the city with only about 200 trucks driven by strike breakers, lessening the potential damage caused by the 40,000 striking truck drivers. After the CIA backed military coup on September 11, 1973, Cyberson was abandoned and the operations room was destroyed. Topic: System There were 500 unused telex machines bought by the previous government. Each was put into one factory. In the control center in Santiago, each day data coming from each factory several numbers, such as raw material input, production output and number of absentees were put into a computer, which made short-term predictions and necessary adjustments. There were four levels of control firm, branch, sector, total, with algodonic feedback. If one level of control did not remedy a problem in a certain interval, the higher level was notified. The results were discussed in the operations room and a top-level plan was made. The software for Cyberson was called Cyberstride, and used Bayesian filtering and Bayesian control. 
It was written by Chilean engineers in consultation with a team of 12 British programmers. The futuristic operations room was designed by a team led by the interface designer Gui Bonsip. It was furnished with seven swivel chairs considered the best for creativity with buttons, which were designed to control several large screens that could project the data, and other panels with status information, although these were of limited functionality as they could only show pre-prepared graphs. This consisted of slides, the vision had been distribution of control and involvement of workers in business planning. The design looked more like bureaucratic centralization of control via bottom-up reporting and top-down direction. Workers were expected to perform processes and use resources in the ways that had been modeled and planned. Any significant deviation from was to be reported upwards, and corrective directives were to be cascaded downwards. The project is described in some detail in the second edition of Strafford Beer's book's Brain of the Firm and Platform for Change. The latter book includes proposals for social innovations such as having representatives of diverse stakeholder groups into the control center. Topic. Aesthetics The ops room used tulip chairs similar to those used in the American science fiction TV program Star Trek, although according to the designers, the style was not influenced by science fiction movies. Topic. Legacy Computer scientist Paul Cockshot and economist Alvin Cottrell referenced Project Cyberson in their 1993 book Towards a New Socialism, citing it as an inspiration for their own proposed model of economic planning under socialism. Chilean science fiction author Jorge Baradite published a Spanish language science fiction novel Cinco in 2008. It is an alternate history science fantasy novel set in a 1979, of which he said, it stops the military coup, the socialist government consolidates and creates the first cybernetic state, a universal example, the true third way, a miracle. See also Alexander Karkovich, head of the Department of Technical Physics in Kiev with a similar concept in 1962. Ogas Arpanet Chilean coup of 1973 Economic calculation debate Enterprise resource planning Fernando Flores History of Chile Internet Material balance planning Planned economy Socialist economy Viable system model Topic. References Topic. External links Eden Medina, Cybernetic Revolutionaries, Technology and Politics in Allende's Chile, Cambridge, Massachusetts, MIT Press, 2011. Eden Medina. Designing Freedom, Regulating a Nation, Socialist Cybernetics in Allende's Chile. Journal of Latin American Studies 38 2006, 571–606, pdf Lessons of Stafford Beer The Seberson Heritage in the 21 Century The Cyberson Multimedia Reconstruction. Before 73 coup, Chile tried to find the right software for socialism, by Alexei Berianuevo. The New York Times. March 28, 2008 the Forgotten Story of Chile's Socialist Internet Futurism, Fictional and Science Fictional, Rambling and Inspiring on Boingboing Project Cyberson, Varnellis.net Rhizome. Org, Project Cyberson Stafford Beer, and Salvador Allende's Internet, and the Dystopian Novel Free as in Beer, Cybernetic Science Fictions Planning Machine at the New Yorker Allende's Socialist Internet at Red Pepper